like mm. Um, so yeah, I think there's a, a there's, desired area and there's probably, it's more thinking, okay, when we go play internationally, this is what we expect you'll hit. So let's try and get as close to that as we can more just so that you're prepared. Basically you want your training to be harder mm. than international competition. So that when you rock up for an international, you're like, cool, I got this. Mm. I'm fine. Usually as a, as a C staff or a conditioning coach, there's athletes that don't like certain things, right? If what's one thing as an athlete that you dislike that essence like a conditioning coach comes up at you one day and goes oh we're doing this and you just go what is it was it a long run is it is it the sprints what is um, it um oh no i'm fine with all that kind of stuff i think we we do these Surprise. things called middle 50s yep um so you like on a hockey field it's four quarters so you like accelerate kind of jog accelerate the first quarter you then stride slash sprint the middle 50 and then you decelerate for the last 25 and often they're like set at a certain intensity Mm -hmm. and so they're 80% and 90%. Um, And this is actually not from our SNC. It's someone else in the staff, but um, yeah, we've been told to run at a a certain pace. And then the person there like go faster (laughs) or like, it's like, no, that's not the point of this. Like this is a warm up exercise to get us ready to play. Like I actually shouldn't be running at a hundred percent. The first rep is at 80. Sometimes the second rep's at 80. Sometimes the second rep's at 90. Yeah. But no, I shouldn't be doing yeah, it hundred no. percent because that's defeating the purpose. Yeah, that's that my issue the, too. Yeah. I get the same thing. Oh, just um, grind my gears. Cause I'd be like, you're just running, being like, oh, you don't understand. <laughs> like just getting so frustrated. But anyway, that's, um, yeah, that's a little silly thing. I mean, I quite like running. I found my love for running through COVID. Um, so I'll happily go for a long run. I mean, yeah, okay, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. You're in the middle of... <laughs> Um, three by four, four hundreds, or five eight hundred. It sucks, but I do really enjoy it. So Still um, found that, I'm it. yeah, you'll get there. It's no. fun. <laughs> it's Keep finding peace with it. So um, yeah, I'm quite happy to. I mean, I like working hard. I'd very happily flog myself day in day out. So mm. I don't have really an issue with knowing that I'm going to hurt. That's to be expected. What about your gym? What are your favourite lifts? Ooh. You have a favourite lift? You like it all? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I used to be terrible at pull-ups and we just never used to do chin-ups. We never used to do them. And then since being terrible and then getting good at them, I'm never, ever stopping them Um, because I find when I stop them, I just lose all my strength in that area, especially as a female. How weird is that? Yeah, and you, like, go to pull and you're like, I'm not moving, I need a band. (laughs) But now I can pump out, like, weighted ones and not not heavy, not much weight, but a little bit of weight from someone who could barely do a body weight one um, to now being able to weight them is awesome and prone grip and neutral, which is cool. Mm. So... Um, now that I'm good at them, I quite like chin-ups. Um, squatting, as long as you've been squatting. I Last year, again, through COVID, was back home in Melbourne, so we were in and out all through our lockdowns and came back one day and was like, oh, you know, it's all right. I haven't squatted in a couple of weeks or months. So I'll just squat. I think it was like all of 40 or 50 kilos, and I could not walk for yeah. like two weeks. I was so sore because of the eccentric loading, but oh, that's what I put it down to probably. Um, but yeah, don't mind a squat. And I've again, got better at them um, as well. So yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Athletes in general, I think are just a different kind of beast in terms of like physically, like you can not have, you can not do something for a week, but still do like all this training, all this other loading. As soon as you introduce one kind of one or two different exercises that they haven't done, that is pull up so sore. Yeah. It's like that. Followed the Simpsons. You watch the Simpsons? No, I don't. Oh, there was this one episode where Mr. <laughs> Mr. Burns, he got really sick. Yeah. And he was talking about, he had all these illnesses, but it was like a, he, the doctor explained it like it was yeah. a door. <laughs> and had all these germs were like pushing into this door. So they weren't like, he wasn't sick yeah. because they're all trying to get in at once. So it was stopping so it. Good. But one got through and then he got, he got sick. <laughs> you got everything. That's kind of like yeah. being a, being yeah. an athlete mm. almost is, but you're, you're like a f- so finely balanced. Yeah. Well, right? I can, um, have you been watching Drive to Survive on uh, Netflix? No. I'm not a Formula One fan. I don't like, oh. could never a understand people the sport have mentioned that to me. it is so good i've now it's mm. season three but i feel like as an elite athlete we're a bit like a formula one car like it's okay i'm not as inexpensive as a formula one car but in terms of you know we're fight like finally like tinkered and there's so many different bits and elements that gets put into it and so then if one thing's a little bit off yes you're in trouble Thank you for backing me up on yeah. that because I, I started our process and I said that to I said, yeah. you boys, we're like I said, our theme for the year, like we're a performance vehicle, right? Yep. And then like, so everything, like our gym on a program was like, mm-hmm. right, so we're now like our strength block. So we're building up the chassis. So yep. the chassis of the car needs to be nice and strong before we go. build up the, you know, the engine, our horsepower. So that's mm-hmm. our power work. And when they come in before training, they do a safety system, safety check. So they're, they're sit and reach Good. near the wall yep. then groin squeezes. They, yep. they do all that and they type it in. They do yeah. their wellness. That's yeah, awesome. System, cool. system, safety check and yeah. all this sort of stuff. So 
yeah, uh, get around there and make, yeah, it, that, make it make it fun. And, exactly. Because I guess at times it gets dull. Yeah. Because it's repetitive. It's the same mm-hmm. training, and I guess you got to make it a bit of fun. Yes, you do. And we've um, introduced like every Monday now. One of the athletes runs a warm up, so you typically oh. play a game, which is so simple and like. It's idea. yeah, really, really easy. And then Friday mornings is it's a game. So to this morning we played um like cat and mouse. We all had a bib like stuck into like your shorts, and the cats had to run around stealing like the mice that were running around's bib. That's idea. Um, play soccer, footy, anything. It's just like it's to take out that oh like here we go we're doing dynamics again. Yeah. We still get that movement. We still do it, yeah. but you know that at the end of it, it's like a kid in some ways. Like here's your reward. We get to play a game. Um, so yeah, anything to make it fun because at the end of the day, if it's not fun, you're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to want to want to rock up and you're not going to get the best out of yourself. So, um, yeah, even having fun games, like we love mini game sessions where we get to play as much as the coaches get so sick of us being like, can we play mini games? Can we play mini games? But when we do, like it's a competition, like it's my team, be your team. And Hey, this is like, you know, serious. And we have to yeah, create our own yeah. competition at the moment because we haven't typically had much. So, um, putting, yeah, putting, I guess something on the line and, we even, after a couple of trainings a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, played this silly game. There was like a little cutout in one of the walls and you had to hit a hockey, try to hit a hockey ball into it from uh-huh. 20 meters away. It's like silly, like, you know, like a little kid game, what you do in your free time. We had some time after training and it then all of a sudden became a weekly tradition for a couple of weeks until they covered the hole because they're doing renovations at the hockey center. Um, but yeah, it's just, the, you know, mm. those bits and pieces that bring a smile to what is, you know, it's a job. It's an un unpaid job yeah. but um yeah it's it's yeah you got to find the fun 100 you got to keep it fresh yep um 